my young guys, girls, even people that are 20 and over, 30 and over. But what I'm saying is especially my youngsters, listen up to this video right now. The dangers of dating in 2020. This is horrendous. This is horrendous. 2019 was not that great. 2020 just got a whole lot worse. Things just got a whole lot worse, didn't it? The dating game and how people are going about relationships nowadays, people are starting to not trust anybody at all. This is what's going on. And I'm gonna tell you the main reason for all of this shit that's happening. And that is this right here. Technology, cell phones, social media, all these things is the main reason why everything is the way it is. We have access to everybody. We have access to celebrities if we get the chance. We have access to people all around the world. Everybody in our hometown. We got cell phone numbers. We have Instagram, DMs, Facebook Messenger, TikTok, TikTok Messenger, Snapchat, all these things is the reason why relationships are failing. And the dangers of dating in 2020 are fucking real. You can't, you can't really, can you really trust somebody today? Can you? People are so far fucking gone into the matrix that it's just like, holy fuck, like can you not even hide it a little bit better? That you are a piece of shit? And when I say piece of shit, I mean you are a liar. You are a scumbag. And I can sense these people very easily. I don't care how good looking or preppy you think you are. These people can't hide shit. And honestly, they used to fool me when I was younger because when I was younger, I was so inexperienced with the world, with life, that I just thought everybody thought the way that I thought and had the hurt that I had and saw the things the way I saw them. And I took everybody's word for what they said without any without any thought, without any wrong thoughts about it. I had to live life to get taught. And that's pretty much what everybody has to do. Unless you're lucky enough to hear information like this before this shit happens and believe it. Because if you hear this and you don't believe it, it doesn't even matter. You have to hear this and believe it. If this shit didn't already happen to you. Like, like I said, these people are so far gone into the matrix, they don't even have a sense of self. They're gone. They're lost into everything that people do on a day-to-day -to -day basis today. Partying all the time. Like this all the time. They're not living in the present. They can't have a conversation. They are socially awkward. They can't do shit. They can't still. You know what? You know. You know what would happen if these types of people that I'm explaining right now sat down and had a conversation with me? They would shit their pants, or some of them would get mad because they know how fucking far gone they are. They would know that they're in the wrong. And people that have ego problems like this get mad when they're wrong. They just get mad because there's nothing else they can do about it, right? It's amazing, isn't it? The world sure has changed. I noticed a big shift in 2014. A big shift 
in that particular year. And it only got worse all the way up to 2020 and it's not getting any better. It's not getting any better. Social media and all that shit just made it worst. People are too far fucking gone into it. People are playing way too many fucking games. There are people that are living to fucking just play games with people. They took this shit too far. They got too fucking greedy and guess what? These people that want to do this are going to suffer their asses off in the future. They are going to pay a heavy ass price for everything that they do. Every wrong thing that they do, every person they do wrong, every person that they lie to, every person that they backstab and hurt, they're gonna pay a heavy ass price for all of this shit that they do. All because they can hide behind a fucking cell phone or a computer and hide their real self and their emotions because guess what? These people can't hide their emotions around real people like me. They can't. I will see that shit. They'll have to look me dead in the fucking eye and have a conversation and they can't get away from that. Body language don't lie. The eyes don't lie. None of this shit lies. But when you're behind a computer or a cell phone, you can hide your emotions. I remember texting a girl that I used to talk to and she texted me something and it like I just felt I laughed my ass off when she sent me this message because I knew everything she said was bullshit that's not how she actually felt it was so much bullshit that I burst out laughing like I was dying laughing because I knew it was a lie some people will just tell you what you want to hear instead of telling you what you should hear or telling you the truth. Stop fucking telling everybody what they want to hear because that's not even you. That's not even the truth. They're being fake. They're being fake people. That's what it was. It was a fake message and I died laughing. I couldn't help it. Because I even felt it through the fucking phone how fake that shit was. Because of the things that I said and how they replied back, it was just so fake. I felt it easily. I got so intelligent to the point where these people cannot fuck with me anymore. Not even close. My vibration is too fucking high. My consciousness is too fucking high. Theirs is too fucking low. <sighs> and it's all because they're caught up into the matrix. This shit all day, partying all fucking weekend, maybe a time through the week as well, all the time. Just wasting time talking to a whole bunch of different fucking people all over the place, messing around with a bunch of people. What the fuck are you doing with your life? What the fuck are you doing with your life? Do you understand the price you're going to pay when you get older, you dumb fuck? Do you even understand this? You're just living like an idiot in the moment, doing all this dumb shit. You're not focused. You're not focused on building a better future for yourself so you can live better, live happier. Instead, you're gonna waste all your time. You're gonna waste all your money. You're gonna talk to so many people that does not belong in your life. You're gonna piss a lot of people off. You're gonna do these things and you're not gonna get one goddamn reward from it. What the fuck are you doing? Can somebody please tell me this in the comments? If you're one of these people, can you please tell me what the fuck you are doing? And all my guys and girls that watch this, that understand what I'm saying all the time, you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. These people need to give their fucking head a shake. It makes no sense. What are you doing? Why are you doing it? Do you even ask yourself why you are doing this? Do you even ask yourself why? Or do you just do it like a dumbass? 
I'd like to know. <clears throat> and the dangers of dating in 2020, even if you're with somebody that you think is being loyal, you should really know this person before you give them that status as a loyal person. I mean really get to fucking know this person because if they can hang out with you a lot, spend a lot of time with you, talk to you, and have long conversations in person, and you guys feel like you're on a mutual level, that's a sign that they could be a loyal person. That's a good sign because unloyal people can't even do this. They can't. Because they're not a real person. They're a fucking robot. Stuck in the matrix. They don't comprehend on this level. They don't know this shit. They are not woke, they are fucking sleep. Caught up into the fucking matrix. Stay woke, stay focused. Use social media for what it is. I use social media every single fucking way to my advantage on all platforms. What the fuck are you using it for? To fool around. You're gonna piss people off and create enemies, that's all you're gonna do because you're talking to people that don't even belong in your life. Dumbass. Make a decision. Make a decision and stick with your decision. Know who you are first. Before you make a decision, focus on yourself. Know what you want. Know what you want, know who you are. Now start adding things into your life. to add on to your life. Do you understand this? <sighs> Fuck. I wanna know what some of you guys think about this date and shit in 2020. I wanna know what you guys think because it actually used to be not too bad some years ago, half a, half a decade, or a full decade ago, I'll say. 2010 and under, it was pretty fucking good then, but shit got really weird. People just took it too far. And let's just be real, before I end this video, there was always hoes in life, okay? There was always hoes in life. There's always players in life. There always was. It's just worse now. It's just worse now. And I think it's worse now is because too many people took this role as a hoe or a player. Too many people did this shit. It's getting to the point where nobody trusts nobody. And it's just not good. Like, is this going to come to an end? Are people going to be doing this in their mid-20s, in their 30s, 35, 40? Are people going to be doing this at this age? We don't know. So these are some of the dangers of dating in 2020. It's not safe. Unless you guys really come together. Make sure about it. Make sure to spend a lot of time with this person before you trust them at all. Don't catch any feelings, no emotions, nothing over text. Nothing like this. You should treat that as a joke until you guys, you know what, you can play around with it. That's what I do. If I'm going to talk to somebody new, I play, a, like, I play with it. I'll talk. I'll talk back. But I'm playing with it. Because until we meet in person, until we see each other's true colors, until we have deep conversations about life and who you are and what you want and who I am and what I want, until then, it's a fucking joke. Understand this. Live by what I just said and you will be fine. I'm going to cut this video off now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will be back with another one. Until next time, guys. 
I'm out.